we're going to demonstrate is how I first unfold the tent. Uh, it's been sitting on my Jeep for a while after rain and uh, how I put the tarp on the top because some of you have asked how to do that. So here we go. <laughs> Got to open all my doors and so I can have steps to get in and out and on. Walk around the front. So there's water on the tarp. Obviously. <laughs> Not ideal but it'll be all right. Hopefully the wind noise isn't bothering the camp, the microphone too badly. I got this buckle right here in the center, just for uh, added protection for uh, driving wind. water off of there. So, uh, those of you asking where my tarp is, my tarp lays on top of everything. Can you see the top? Okay. But the tarp is on top of everything, uh, on top of my ladder and such. When I fold it up, and then go around the back for me. So what I have to do now, after I've got everything unbuckled, I've got, um, here's the cover, and I've got some extra support bars here to uh, keep it from collapsing. Looks like everything stayed dry. And that's a success. Everything except me. Get right here if you can into it. So I keep my bars stuffed in right here when I fold the tin up. Can you see that? Okay. So I take the bars out, set them to the side. I take my tarp, set it down. ladder out walk around this way again back to the front all right so what I do I got these uh, ARB uh, awning rods that uh, I'll have I'll put a link in the description uh, bought a set of eight of them for I don't know, like 13 bucks or something. I need to look it up again. I don't really remember. They came pretty fast. But uh, I haven't even taken the stickers off of them. So what I did, and I'll uh, maybe throw in a clip of when I first did this. So come up close. I got holes pre-drilled 
obviously. Back up. So what I do is I go ahead and put my rods in, facing the hooks in the direction that they need to go. I know a lot of you express concern using a tarp, or even if I made it out of a uh, like rain fly. I mean, uh, tent material. Uh, like getting it on it after the fact you were looking for a rain fly that would stay on it all the time uh, I don't want it to stay on all the time because I don't need it all the time. So Let me get these rods in oh, That landed right on my toe. Ow, ow, ow painful <laughs> booty If you're short, this might be tough. Under your back, or you're not really going to get a lot of the picture. All right. This might be a little tough because of the wind, but it'll be all right. So, the narrow side of my tarp goes on the front. What I do is go ahead. Hook. What I need. Good. Now, before I get everything all tight, I got these side ones. Let me hook up. I got two more on the other side. Just stay there, they don't try to get them. recording all right Oh. 
This went really smoother the other day. There you go. So you just take some uh, paracord or cut the corners off, however you want to do it. Uh, and I secured it down so that it would, uh, wouldn't just flap around all night long. So, all right, that's it. Bye guys. <laughs>